So I had this thought this morning, and uh, I've thought about this a little bit in the past, but for some reason this morning it was kind of like this red alarm bell, you know, this warning signal came off of me. It's like, wow, this could actually turn into something bad. Um, and what I wanted to talk about is, you know, how far should we go with artificial intelligence or AI? So right now, I think it's a, so like a 33 or 35, 38, anyway, it's billions of dollars. There's a deal between HubSpot and Google right now, which, as we all know, um, most of us, especially in the sales side, HubSpot is a CRM system, a customer relationship management system. So thus, they're always collecting a bunch of data and a bunch of information. And then also, Google is not only a data collection company, but they are uh, an analytics company as well. I mean, they're really big on artificial intelligence. So that is something that it kind of started my thoughts on this morning is for us business owners or us that are in bigger directive positions within any corporate business in America, especially the ones where we're collecting a bunch of data every day and we're dealing with a lot of customers every day. It's especially important for these types of businesses, but it's just as important for us small business owners because I think that ethically we need to make a decision today on how we're expecting to use AI. Because right now I use AI. I use it to write certain articles. Um, and when I say write certain articles, what I do is I go high level. I use it to get thoughtful ideas to think outside of my brain that I never would be able to think of if I wasn't using AI. I could do it, but it would just take me so long. So I'm doing it for efficiency. So that is the, the, that's the reason that a lot of us are using AI is because we want to be more efficient in our day-to-day -day task, in our day-to-day -day lives, especially when it comes to business. But what I would ask you is, again, the video needs to be titled like, how far should we go with AI? Because in doing so, once we make the decision to use AI, like where does that stop? Like where is it crossing the line? And maybe I'm thinking too much outside of the box, but I think this could definitely happen. It's probably already being done right now because we have every day these AI companies that are just getting um, created every single day. Um, apps, you know, SaaS companies, whatever it is. I mean. There is a massive amount of technology companies that are being created every day. So imagine to where in the future it's pretty much never needed to have a psychologist, especially on the marital side, because uh, companies like Google or these analytical AI companies, they know our relationships because they're collecting all of our chats. Because how many of us are using right now text every single day? We're texting with our partners or our friends more than we're actually having vocal conversations. So I don't know how much of that is collected. Maybe somebody can help me and tell me. But that information is already being put on or being shared in some kind of way. Now, whether it's being collected, I don't know. But imagine us living in a world very, very soon, or it might even be now. I don't know if this is actually being done right now but where they learn our relationships better we we could ever know our partner. Uh, so again, how far would we go with that? How far should we go with that? A lot of people don't see any concern over that. It's like, well, no, if I can have, you know, certain things that like to tells me like, hey, you know, this would be a perfect gift for Justin, me. Um, you know, here's the suggestions. But again, how far should we go with this? Because again, we have to understand that when we're, when we're giving up this information about us, it's creating something that maybe we don't want to have in our lives. Do you really want to live in a world where the robots and the computers know your wife, know your husband, than you could ever know them? And we know that's true because with data and analytics, like, it can make decisions a lot better than we can. But is that really the life that I want to live? Is that the world that I want to live in to where, ah, some robot knows my customer better than I do. Now I'm going down a different path, not relationship, but now I'm going down the business path. 
So again, how far should we go with this? It's kind of hurtful when I think about like that maybe one of my customers is actually now a friend of mine. And over time, we've built that relationship. And yeah, we have this type of relationship where I provide a service and he or she gives me money and they support my family. But I became a really good friend of theirs now. Am I really wanting that personal relationship to be handled by AI? So again, how far should we go with AI in our businesses? And I would even think about this on the legal side too. When you right now are using, because I'm actually doing this video because I am a call center provider and also a representative to uh, a call center here in Mexico. So I'm always thinking about things as, okay, what's better for the customer? And a lot of your call centers now are like, AI, 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 where you use all these fancy technologies. One of the reasons I came here and I'm living in Mexico is because it's a lot different in America. Like I, I, I feel a way that I haven't felt in years, which is I see kids playing in the street. I see people walking around a lot more. I see things that it's like life happening around me that I never experienced in America. In America, I would wake up between four walls in a nice house, get out and walk to my car, and that was the most walking I did, to drive into, to drive to work, and some of us that takes an hour, it takes two hours to get to, to sit in another building with four walls, and that was my day. And it was, it was depressing. And my life now is so much different. So the reason I'm doing this video is again because I want us to be thinking, how far does this AI path go for our relationships, personal relationships, marital relationships, friendships, but then also on the business side. And is that ethical for our customers? I can imagine when I'm using AI, it almost makes me feel like a liar if one of my customers says, wow, Justin, you really know and understand me. And it's like, no, I don't. <laughs> the computer that we know, that, we, you're, that we're using, they know your taste. Uh, they've gathered enough of data to be able to understand all the technical things that we're dealing with daily. Yeah, they know, the computer knows, the robotics, you know, all this, you know, all this data collection that we're doing, it knows you better than I'll ever know you. Does that make you feel good? Because again, how far are we gonna go with this in society to where, again, how much of our decisions in our day-to-day -day life is gonna be affected by AI? Is it gonna make you feel good when your wife comes home and she sees this amazing package. You didn't have any thought process in doing that package. A robot came together with all the plans of exactly what was to be done. And I know some people say, yeah, you know, well, that's not much. Or, hey, that great vacation, yeah, that's not much, you know. But again, how far should we go with feeding these systems? Again, you know, look into the news right now. We got Google and HubSpot coming together on this big, massive deal it's going to affect a lot of customers of ours. You know, how far do we go with that? Um, I'll give you an example. I was prior military, and I joined late in life. Everybody was like, what? I was very, very much in shape. I joined at 29. I was a 20-year-old male coming into the military at a wartime in 2010. I joined as an 11 Bravo, an infantry guy, when I could have made tons of different choices and decisions about doing anything I wanted to in business. I was actually the perfect age to be climbing that, that ladder. But I remember watching the news at that time and I wanted to be able to support my country. So I gave up everything to get, flow, uh, get flown into Germany to where I stayed there for probably like two, it was actually the, the next day, the next morning after I woke up, we stood in a formation that says, if you're in this formation, you're deploying means you're going to Afghanistan. And why I'm bringing this all up is I did that because I wanted to provide security. I felt like I was doing something that was good. And I'm not saying I didn't do something that was good. We all now know a lot of the reasons why we went to war, as we went to war for a lot of different things. So I'm not trying to make that a discussion. But it's how far do we want to go? Because when I was there and deployed, I seen technologies being used that I was always thinking about, wow, what if those technologies were to be used against us when I come back home? 
What if this is a preparation? Everybody's like, oh, this is going a little bit deep now. But what if that was a preparation, me thinking then, of what our future is going to be like? I, I'm seeing a lot of this playing right now. I'm seeing a lot of this being done. Biometrics is one thing. So we had systems where we were tracking, uh, you know, eye retinas. We don't want, we're doing eye scans on people, fingerprinting and all. Do you not think this is being collected into a database? Yeah, it was. I was riding around with JTAC guys, people that were, you know, air observers, riding in a, uh, you know, a, a vehicle with us, a striker vehicle at the time, and asking the guy, because I didn't know what he was doing that day, I said, what are you doing? He said, well, there's, I'm providing security. I'm providing security. So, well, okay, well, we provide security. Like, what are you doing? He said, well, there's a drone up above. I said, where's the drone? He said, you can't see it. I couldn't see it or hear it. It was, it, was not, it was not even there. I couldn't even spot it. I said, how good is it? He said, you got a farmer coming up on your left here shortly. And a few minutes later, I like really, really quickly looked to the left. And sure enough, there was a farmer there farming. I'm like, wow. Just that quick, he was able to spot it and see everything. He's like, yeah, I'm getting told everything that's happening down here. So it was a sense of security, like, oh, okay, well, we're being protected. But again, how far do we go with these decisions that we're making as business owners? How far are you going to go with this in your relationships? That's the question. It's all great, but you're going to have to start making the decision. Okay, I'm a business owner. Wow, this AI stuff sounds very, very like intriguing. It sounds so cool because I grew up in an age to where... You know, kids were playing out in the streets, but then we started getting like PlayStations and all these little tech things. And then I was one of the first kids in my neighborhood to have a desktop computer. I love technology, but it's like, how far is this stuff now going to where we have collection of data, we have analytics? It's like, how far does it go? And that's what we need to be asking as business owners. How far does this go? Because right now, you're feeding systems sometimes that's able to help you serve your customers. And is that ethical or not? It's the same with your, your relationship with your wife. If you're using systems out there, telling the world what you're doing, we'll just say it's Instagram, you're sharing pictures of your kid, that's another argument, I'm trying to do this. Is that something that your child is gonna be like, wow, I'm proud that you shared that photo of me when I was three years old? says, yeah, but that just that's not much. How do you know it's not much? We don't know yet. But I will tell you, I will tell you this, it's not going in a good direction. It's not going in a good direction because I think we're sharing too much a lot of the times. So in our relationships, in, you know, with our customers and with our friends and with our partners, like always be thinking of this now. How far should we really go with using AI? Take care.